What does the word Asian mean? Does it mean Sikh? Does it mean Hindu? Does it mean Muslim? Does it mean Jain? Does it mean Zoroastrian? Does it mean Christians? Does it mean Buddhists? What do you mean by Asian? I think that the police have been quite racist in using such a broad description. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Well, look, we have nothing to add to this. They're covering something up. I don't know what it is. We know there are Asian gangs in Sacramento. That's a given. Quite a few, and you can look it up, Google it. But since we know that jihadis are amongst us, our own government has told us that. Why am I saying it? Did I make it up? Our own government, as near as two months ago, said that they're all over the place in every state. Remember they dummied him up after he said that? The head of one of the agencies, suddenly they gave him a, a, a dismissal. He said they're in all 50 states. Then they gave him a push job. Because Obama cannot associate Islam Muslims with violence. He's living in a dream world with his head in the sand. But put that aside, we don't know who did this. And that's why we the people have a right to know. We have a triple right to know, especially since he was a train hero who subdued a Muslim on a train in France. So logically, we the people are saying, is it related? That's the first thing that comes to your mind if you're not a drug addict, if you're not a Democrat, if you're not an automatic Hillary Zieg Heiler. If you're not a Hillary Zieg Heiler, the first thing is, I wonder if it's related to him being a hero in France and subduing a Muslim who tried to kill everyone on the train. Is it not? Is that not a logical question? We're not allowed to ask ourselves questions anymore. Who is going to stop you? Some mean-faced, clipped-haired vermin who would have worked in Hitler's concentration camps and now runs a university? Pushing diversity? When it's really perversity? No, we have a right to know, or we're not going to know. Something is wrong, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. I think that we're going to find out during this show who the perpetrators are. I got five people checking, five and a lawyer. We're going to find out who they are right here on The Savage Nation. Join The Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The suspects in this crime are two male Asian adults. The, male, the males are being described as wearing white t-shirts and blue jeans. The suspects, we believe, fled in a 2009 to 2012 dark gray or black Toyota Camry. This incident is a very unfortunate um, altercation between two groups who are enjoying the nightlife in Midtown Sacramento. <laughs> this incident Enjoy. is not related to terrorism. <laughs> In any way, oh, for sure, um, no. and we do not believe in any way. We know it's not related to what occurred in France. No, uh, no we know. how do you know that? H how do they know that? How do they definitively know that if they don't know anything more? If they don't know who the perpetrators are, how do they know that for sure? I love this statement out of the Sacramento Police. It's a nightlife-related incident. I never heard that use of words before, and I'm a wordsmith. When I think of a nightlife-related incident. That's me turning off the television, putting on the nightlight, turning off the lights and going to sleep. Nightlife related incident. I, I mean, that's the craziest thing I ever heard. But nevertheless, let's not rush to judgment. Remember the slaying of the uh, therapist, the sex therapist along a trail in Marin County the other day? Guy was just hiking with his dog and then they were looking for perpetrators. I mean, why don't you do a check on yourself? When you first heard about it, who did you think did it? I'll bet your mind jumped to a certain race. But you were wrong. It turned out to be white trash who did it. Marin County Sheriff's Office just said that the three who shot him and his dog after stealing his car are 24-year-old Sean Angle, 23-year-old Morrison Lampley, and 18-year-old Lita Leela Algood. All good. And if you look at the pictures, it's, it's uh, trash, street trash. The kind of garbage you see in downtown San Francisco uh, that are usually at city council meetings telling us what's wrong with the city. The kind that urinate and defecate in the streets or have dogs with pit bulls with large chains. Here, here he's holding a skateboard. There you go. Street, gar street garbage. But they're white is the point. But I can guarantee you that your mind immediately said, oh, I bet you X-type did it. 
but you would have been wrong. So we have to be cautious, and that gives us a double reason to demand to know who did this. This is not an ordinary man who was stabbed in a bar fight. He's an American hero who even Obama saluted after a long while. Even Obama said uh, the guy was given the, the Legion the honor by Holland. Even he recognized the heroism. So here we have an American hero who was stabbed almost to death, stabbed in the heart, and by the way, in the lung. You know, the guy is so strong that he survived it so far. But we don't know who did it. All we hear is the Asian. Now, the police said two Asian males are suspects, while video footage shows five of them stabbing him. Incidentally, if you go on to my website, yeah, michaelsavage.com, and you look at the video, the grainy video footage shot from the liquor store across the street, you'll see five of them attacking him like, like, like uh, animals, going at him with knives. So why are only two under? And where's the car? They fled in a, in a Toyota? A great toy or whatever, and they can't find it. Well, all right, that that's that could be in a warehouse, a garage. Uh, you know, that's not easy to find. Just because they know the kind of car doesn't mean they're going to find it overnight. But I guarantee you, surveillance footage can pick up the license plate. I can guarantee you, as I see that the police have already traced the license plate to an owner. I can guarantee you that, and they're now figuring out how to how to break the news to the schmucks out there who uh, shouldn't know too much. Okay, so we're trying to find out. And I'm not going to ask you what you think because we don't know. But something's wrong with the picture. WMAL, Will, you're in another part of the country. Tell me what you hear and what you see when you listen to this story. Um, I'm seeing something that they're not telling anybody. I'm seeing something, just being in the line of work that I am, that if they're truly trying to find a specific person, they are not giving the details they should be giving. I, are you in police work? Are you in police work? Yes. But your department is probably constrained by the same politically insane uh, uh, constraints as Sacramento police, aren't they? They wouldn't give out any more than that, would they? When they're giving out a description of a person that you're actively looking for, you're going to be a little bit more descriptive than just Asian male. When you hear the word Asian male, what generally pops to mind is somebody from the Orient. Um, not necessarily anyone from, say, the Middle East. When we're on the radio, we say Middle Eastern male or Middle Eastern female, or you know, if we. You, you mean when when you're putting out a when you're putting out a, a, a police dispatch, you say Middle Eastern when they're Middle Eastern, right? Yes. Is that what you're saying? You're saying you use Middle Eastern when it is Middle Eastern? Yes. Okay, so then you would concur that they're not Middle Eastern, that they are Asian. Well. I'm not saying that because I don't believe the whole story that's being told. Uh, right, and I also know that in England, where they have been deballed a long time ago, they use the word Asian to describe a large group of people, as I said earlier, it, and including Muslims, and it's to cover up Muslims and crimes. You know that, don't you? Yes. Yeah, in England, we know they're bending over backwards to never associate Muslims with crimes. Never. So they use the word Asian to describe Muslims in England. And that's what set me off here. I don't know what they're covering up here or if they're covering anything up. And I think that they have an obligation, the Sacramento police, to be a little more specific. And that's why we're, we're doing this story today. I want more specifics. We have a right to know. They're not a, a, a world unto themselves. No. And, and, and this, it's weird. And it's, you know, I don't want to put too much information out there because I can't say a whole lot about what goes on with our systems and all that kind of stuff. But say we're searching a license plate, and it comes back to a this person is associated with a known terrorist group. We can't do anything. All we can do is try to remember. The oh, oh, you mean you can't even say it's related to a terror-related group? That would be too offensive to who? Obama? Correct. That, and the only thing we're allowed to do is we can't. You know, ask any questions. We can't do anything like that. All we can do is call a little number and say. Okay, so in other words, this idea of profiling has gotten so insane that it makes police unable to do their job to make the, the streets safer in plain English. Make it uh, simple, even for the moron out there who can't follow the bouncing uh, the bouncing ball. Okay, my friend, I well, I don't know if we're going to find out who did it right away during the show, but we're looking, we're pressuring. And by the way, just doing this, I guarantee you, the police chief is sweating listening to this show, and I guarantee you people involved are sweating. 
because they're covering something up or they're not covering, covering something up. And moreover, why haven't they found the perps? How hard is that when you have video surveillance and you know the kind of car they were in? Why haven't they found them yet? Do you find that way? But do you find that unusual? They know the kind of car on video surveillance and they don't know who the guys did. They can't find the guys in less than uh, 24 hours. Isn't that odd? It's very odd. And we put a picture of the car out there for everyone to see. We'll put a picture of the license plate out there for everyone to see. OK, so but you're calling from from Washington, D.C. or Virginia. Where are you? I'm right outside of uh, Washington, D.C. in Maryland. All right. But you're not living in Sacramento under the thumb of Jerry Brown. No. All right, well, thank God even Washington has a little more clarity. My friend, a fresh, hardcover copy of Government Zero goes out to you. I have one in my hand. They're gorgeous. I'm so proud of this book. Government Zero, no borders, no language, no culture. More about it when it's in the bookstores. Now let's go to some additional calls on the Savage Nation. Chelsea on KSFO, what is it you have to say about the stabbing in Sacramento? I just want to say that... Mr. Stone is a military personnel, and at this point in time right now, everybody is rallying for him and his family and hoping for a recovery. But this is no street accident that happened or a nightclub. It will be fully investigated, and the military is involved, and... Well, 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 you're, saying an awful, you're saying an awful lot of things. You're saying that it's not... Why are you saying that, that it's not a bar, rela a bar brawl? There's not enough information out there. They are getting more and more information, and I think it will come out. I don't have a definite answer either way, um, but it is fully being investigated. There's enough to know that there is an investigation. So you're saying that you know from the inside that the military police are investigating this because they themselves want to know whether it was terrorism related. Isn't that what you're alleging? That is 100% what I'm alleging. I know, and you can't say any more for reasons I know that you told my screener. I get it. So you're saying military police are investigating possible, a possible link to something more than a bar fight. Could we go as far as to say that? One thousand percent. Chelsea, you get a copy of Government Zero. Maybe it's people like you who can save this country from the insanity uh, that, uh, that we're all living under. Something's wrong with the picture. I'm not letting it go. And by the way, I have five people working on this right now, including an attorney, desperately trying to get the Sacramento police to release the police report. And the reason is, is that I happen to know something about police reports because many years ago we used to get them and break them on the Savage Nation before anyone else. And police reports are very, very specific. They have, they have great detail in them. The police do a great job of filing police reports. They will not give them to us. The, the, the police report will not, they say it's only released to family and attorneys. They will not release it to the media. Do you find that odd? This is a national talk show in California. Why is the Sacramento Police Department withholding public information like this? Because a police report, by the way, is generally released to the public when they're trying to find perpetrators. So what are they trying to hide? What is the police chief in Sacramento covering up? What is Samuel D. Summers Jr., chief of police in Sacramento, doing by not releasing the police report to the American people. I invite Officer Summers, Chief Summers, to call the Savage Nation at 855-407-282 to put this to rest. I'd like to go on to something else. I will not go to something else until I get the answers. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. All right, we're on the Sacramento Bee website right now. French train hero Spencer Stone stabbed in serious condition. That's a national story. We all know the police are saying it's Asian males or uh, saw two Asian males. But if you look at the footage of the stabbing, it's a pack of five attacking one. I don't know why they're only looking for two. If five animals are attacking one man, what's, what are they looking for two? Do they know something we don't know? French train hero Spencer Stone stabbing caught on surveillance video. Let's be clear about this. You watch the video, you see five attacking one. Stone is in the long white sleeve shirt. He's surrounded by a bunch of people in undershirts, white undershirts. 
So why are they only looking for two? Moreover, why do they use such a broad 